<laughs> Hi, and welcome to Rachel Art with Heart. Hi, hello, and welcome back. I'm so happy to see you again. We are continuing with our 4th of July projects because it's our 4th of July week. Make sure to stay tuned because we're gonna be doing plenty of fun summer camp themes and we're gonna be making our projects along with them. So make sure to like this video and also subscribe to see what we're doing next. So when you think about the 4th of July, what kind of things do you think about? I think about the American flag, um, hot dogs, parades, and also fireworks, lots of fireworks. You might hear them at night because they make loud booming sounds, or maybe you stay up and you see them. Today, we are going to be making some fireworks. Come on, let's get started. Right, so now we are going to start our firework picture. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our chalk pastels. I chose these colors over here. You can choose whatever colors you want. I'm gonna start with my yellow chalk pastel and I'm gonna kind of do, fireworks kind of start from the center and have almost lines going down, right? Have lines like shooting out from the middle. And do a bunch of lines kind of shooting out from the middle. And then they kind of have a little trail like that. I'm gonna mix some colors. I'm gonna do orange in here as well. Same kind of thing. There we go. And now I'm gonna do my other one. I'm gonna do purple over here. Same kind of thing. I'm gonna kind of start from a center and draw these lines that are coming down, All right? All these lines. And this one also kind of same thing, little trail. And a green, I'm gonna use purple and green. Kind of all coming from the same center. Kind of something like that, all right? So when you feel good with your fireworks, I did two big fireworks. If you wanna do two big ones, you can do that. If you choose to do smaller fireworks, you are welcome to do smaller fireworks, kind of the same thing, starting from the center and just drawing lines, kind of going out and out. Now, we are gonna grab our glue. And with our glue, you're gonna carefully kind of, almost like you're painting with the glue or drawing with the glue, whichever you wanna look at it. I'm doing the same kind of thing. I'm starting from the center and going out. Now, when we use the salt, the glue is gonna what's gonna make the salt stick, okay? So you gotta have the glue on there to make that salt stick. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. and some lines going down like that. So there's my glue right there. And now I'm gonna grab my salt. Now when we use this salt, you might need grown-ups help for this so the salt doesn't get everywhere, okay? Also, when you pour it on here, you are gonna need grown-ups help to help you pour it into a trash can or a trash bag. So make sure to have a trash can or a trash bag next to you for this part so it doesn't get too messy everywhere, okay? All you're gonna do is you're gonna carefully pour 
right on top. of the glue. Kind of pour right on top. You want to make sure all that glue or all the salt sticks to the glue. So carefully pour. Now go ahead and pause your video. Okay. And we're going to carefully dump this into the trash. Remember, get a grown up friend to help you with this part. Okay. So now that we carefully dump this salt into the trash, now we're going to paint on the salt but not like normal painting. So I have my paints over here, my liquid watercolors. Get my paintbrush, wipe, wipe, wipe. I'm not gonna paint like this on there because then you're gonna mix all of that paint. You almost wanna kinda tap, 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 tap. Right on top of the glue and the paint. Very, very lightly. You don't need a lot of paint for this. A little bit goes a long way. But all you're gonna do is carefully paint right on top of your glue and your salt. Like that. See how I'm just kind of tapping along? I'm gonna let you go ahead and finish your fireworks by just carefully tapping along. You might notice on some parts, the watercolor starts to kind of move a little bit, right? Let's see if we can see it on our yellow one. So, kind of starts to move. Go. Okay. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and finish painting your fireworks and I'm gonna finish painting mine. All right, so now I've finished painting all my fireworks. I'm gonna let it dry. That glue, the watercolor all needs to dry. Once it dries, you might wanna give it another little shake um, to get any of the excess salt off on it, but make sure to shake it over a trash can. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun creating our fireworks pieces of artwork. Can I see what yours looks like? Oh, wow. I love those colors. So exciting. Make sure to leave it somewhere safe to dry though, and make sure to give it a good shake to get all that salt off. Next time, we are going to be in our camping theme. Now, don't get this confused because we're having summer camp themes. This one is like camping. Like think s'mores, think tents, think sleeping outside in sleeping bags, think stars, think fishing. That kind of camping is what I'm talking about. So make sure to stay tuned next time to see what we're going to create. Thanks so much for joining me, you guys. See you guys again. Bye!